how to hack your week to be more productive, work less, but get more done. What's going on guys, so just a quick video on like automation and uh, how to hack your week just to be more productive and get more done. Just so everyone's up to speed, I own a digital marketing agency in the Netherlands where I help businesses grow their business by leveraging social media marketing and social media advertising. Other than that, I also do content creation for these companies, so like uh, promotional videos and videography work and stuff like that. Next, I also do YouTube, so I create videos for you guys and I've also got like, my own personal brand uh, on social media where I create or post uh, some at least once a day whether that's like a photo or a video like this one or it's a quick snapshot of what i'm doing uh, during the day on instagram stories and snapchat furthermore i also have a part-time job in the gym where i work on thursday nights and sundays and i do like group lessons where i uh, like help a group of people either lose weight or gain muscle and that ties in nicely with my other business which i'm like sort of low-key still doing which is uh, like an online coaching business where i coach people to live like a balanced lifestyle and uh, just coach them like in terms of fitness and nutrition how to balance that with other aspects of life sounds busy well it gets better i also work out three four times a week I read for at least an hour a day enroll in multiple courses online i've also got a girlfriend and meet my mates on the weekend and all that while trying to get at least six hours of solid sleep at night now for some of you this you just might be thinking like how the fuck does he get all that done in a week and uh, basically the way I do it is I structure my week in a certain way and I batch produce like, a lot of things and I uh, basically what I do is I've got my week so automated and like at a fixed schedule that I can get so much done and I'm not like constantly switching tasks and I'm doing like all kinds of mad stuff and having like really busy hectic weeks. So um, I was gonna like tell you guys what I do like on a daily basis, but I thought, you know what, it might be so much easier to just show you guys in like a little like infographic that I created, uh, just show you guys like, what I do on every single day. Also it was quite a fun little experiment for me to really think like, what am I actually doing during the day? Like what am I doing in certain hours? And to be honest, I'm actually going to start doing this like once a month or something like that, just to see if I can tweak a few little things to be more productive or to like work less basically, but still get the same results and have more time to relax. Now, obviously, just a little like a disclaimer, maybe uh, like this is the way I do it. This is my week. This is how I plan out my week. Uh, like I'm not necessarily saying like you need to do it this way or anything like that. Like everyone's got their own like uh, like perfect version of their life or uh, like like their own like journey or whatever you like you know you know what i mean like it's just everyone's got their own uh, version of how they want their life to be like i think it was tim ferris that said like uh, nowadays uh, people can like it's called lifestyle design so you can create the life that you want uh, by automation and by like outsourcing and stuff like that so uh, like no longer are we in a world where like the nine to five is like necessary and there's no other option like there are other ways to earn money and live life and uh, like Tim Ferriss calls it lifestyle design and that is also like what I'm really really looking into is like how can I get more done or get the same amount of work done in less time so I've got more time to pursue the things that I actually love doing. So without further ado, let's hop onto the computer. What's going on guys? So here we are on my computer and this is like a little like rough little design of what my week looks like. Now the first thing you might see is the fact that I wake up at 6.30 at least five days a week. Now for those of you that are into like uh, self-improvement, entrepreneurship and all that lot, is 6.30 is like not a like very special time to get up or anything like that. Like for some people this might actually be quite late. Uh, and then you've got all the people that like, uh, the people that like, you know, nine to five, live the weekend type of people. They might think like I am absolutely mad and out, out of my mind that I'm waking up at 6.30 like on days where I'm not necessarily going to work because I work from home. But um, like for me, 6.30 is perfect. I actually enjoy it. Very easy to wake up at 6.30 nowadays because I've got my like, uh, my sunlight alarm clock, not really sure exactly what it's called, but basically it's an alarm clock that instead of making noise, it just goes on like in terms of light and it gets brighter and brighter like the closer you get to the time I need to wake up, which is 6.30, so at 6.30 it's at its brightest 
and it's just a really easy and relaxing way to wake up. As soon as I wake up, I go downstairs, get myself a cup of coffee because I'm an absolute coffee or caffeine addict. I read for uh, like roughly two hours, maybe 90 minutes, maybe an hour. Depends on like what how I'm feeling at the time. Like if I really can't concentrate or I just want to get to work, then obviously I might only read for like 20 minutes or I'll read a chapter or something like that. But anyway, I get reading done of a morning because that's when I'm like most don't know that's why I, I like getting me reading done of the morning don't really like reading of a night of a night i can't really concentrate i'd rather just relax and i do other stuff uh after that i've got client acquisition which means that i either approach clients contact clients or look for potential clients that maybe could sign with brand Panier. i do this every single day apart from sundays and it's just a great way of keeping your pipeline full and even though you've got clients working with you now it's, it's like you always need to be like looking for other clients because you never know when a client's going to drop you or say like you know we're not going to work with you anymore you always want backup clients you always want more clients and there obviously is always like another client so even if you do lose a client don't worry just keep looking for more clients as soon as i get the client acquisition out of the way i actually go in and do actual client work so the clients that are already with me um, I do work for them. Like I said, I uh, create promo videos for them. I also help a few clients, like not all of them. I also do like actual social media marketing. So I will um, create like a sales funnel for them, place um, Facebook ads, uh, Instagram story ads, stuff like that. And then you've also got like the, the, the smaller clients that I just do social media management for. At 11.30, I have my breakfast. Sometimes it's 10 o'clock, sometimes 11.30. It depends how long I can keep my fast for. I'm not really into intimate fasting at the moment anyway because I'm doing a lean bulk, so I'm not really too bothered if I eat earlier or later. After that, on uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, I go to the gym, try and get in a little workout on the Friday as well, so I've got uh, at least four workouts a week, uh, which for me is not a lot. I used to go like six, seven times a week, but obviously with my own business, it's getting harder and harder to work out every single day. Um, first hack of the week is on a Monday is my personal brand day. This is the day where I get all my videos for YouTube and stuff like that, or video ideas at least, uh, like done, written down. You know, maybe create like a little um, like document where I've got all like the points of the things that I wanted to discuss. I also I do all that on a Monday, so. Like when it's Wednesday, I don't need to think, oh shit, I've got a video today, you know, stuff like that. It's all done on the Monday. Uh, in a perfect, like, um, perfect week, I actually film it all on the Monday and then you've got content for the entire week. Second hack, which is like, what I, basically what I do is I have Mondays uh, where I film all the YouTube videos and then Sunday night, I get all my Instagram captions, po uh, like photos, posts and all that, all done and dusted. So I plan out my entire week in terms of, uh, like Instagram and Facebook and I'd use an app called later.com for this which is just like a calendar app which lets you already plan your posts like in advance also in terms of my personal brand I try and check my DMs only once a, a day so on a, a Tuesday I do it like after the client wake at seven o'clock Wednesday I do it a bit later because uh, I have client wake for a bit longer Thursday, I do it before work. I've got my part-time job on a Thursday, so I do it just before I eat and go to work. I'll like answer all the DMs and answer as many comments and questions as, well as possible. This also counts for like YouTube. Friday, do it before I go out. Saturday, do it before I go out. And Sunday is like, while I'm doing the captions and posts and all that, I'll flick through the DMs and see if there's any that I need answering right away. Other than that, I'm big on courses. Like I said, I, I'm always doing courses or trying to get like videos on stuff or topics that I'm trying to get better at. Do that on a Monday and a Tuesday and sometimes also on a Sunday. Depends on how interesting the course is. During the day, mostly it's client work. Like I said, social media management, social media marketing. Some days I also film for clients. So I try and get all the, like, the filming done on a Friday. I just think that's a good little day to get like a lot of stuff done and I don't know, I feel, I feel like people are more chilled out on a Friday, you know, when you're filming them because like it's nearly weekend, stuff like that, you know, they're not really too bothered, not too busy, so I can get like a good little promotional video done for them there. Uh, my Mondays are absolutely sacred, so I do not plan any type of meetings or stuff like that on a Monday. Monday is my day, that's my personal brand day, that's when I get all the stuff done for the week, so that's my day, I do not plan anything on a Monday. 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I try and get like the meetings in, and on the Friday is like the promo video day where I do like the videos. Saturday, I Saturday's a bit of a me day as well. Uh, get a workout in, do a little bit of client work, and then in the evening or Saturday night, I just go out with mates and stuff like that. Just chill, relax. Even if I don't go out, you know, just that's like my time. I don't really do much. Uh, Saturday night, same goes for Friday night again. Relaxation either uh, with the misses or with the mates, depends. Um, what their weeks are looking like. Looking like. like I said, Sunday is a part-time job day where I just work in the gym, group lessons and stuff like that. So obviously, um, if I do go out on a Saturday night, it'll take me a little bit longer to wake up in the morning. So that's why I give myself like 90 minutes to wake up and chill before going to the job. Um, I eat like sporad sporadically during the day, then come home, relax, read, eat personal brand and then go to bed so obviously looking at this there's a bit of structure but obviously this could be better so um like like i said this is a great way of me to check what am i actually doing during the day and how can i be more efficient and more productive now obviously this is what it looks like now as soon as i get more clients in you think okay then the client work will double but actually like the more clients I get in, the more I'm gonna look at like outsourcing and getting people on to do the work for me. So guys, hope you enjoyed that little video. I hope you got something out of it in terms of like productivity and how you can like hack your uh, days to get more done. Like I said, batch produce on Mondays and Sundays uh, in terms of my personal brand. So YouTube videos on Monday, Sundays look all the Instagram posts and stuff like that. Then I try and keep like one day to myself, that's the Monday, and then I've got like the Fridays where I do all the promo videos. Then like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays where I get all like, the meetings done and stuff like that. And this way, there's like there's, there's like a method in my madness, you know what I mean? Like the structure in it, I can, uh, I can I get like certain days to do certain stuff. And because you're not like constantly doing like uh, one post a day and then you're going to one meeting a day and then you're doing one video, because you batch do a like, batch working on everything, batch producing everything, it's just more efficient. And believe me, if you try it you'll notice that you've got so much more time on your hands or that you've you're so much more productive because once you're in the zone of like creating like a like a motivational caption or anything like that once you're in the zone you can just type them out like that one after the other same with future videos once you're in the zone you know once you've got like your, your tripod set up and you've got your your ring light shining on you it's easier to get more videos done rather than like constantly having to put it down you know put the memory card in and then do one video edit it you know stuff like that so be more efficient get more done in your day and have more time to relax guys if you got something out of this video let me know in the comments down below also if you made it this far into the video leave your instagram name in the like the comments and i'll make sure to follow you back like i said big on community building and i do think that there's brand in it that there's a brand in it and every one of us you know there's people that want to live life to the fullest live life on their own terms and i just want to connect and you know like network with people like this so guys anyway thanks for watching subscribe to the channel for more and i hope to see you soon gotta do what i gotta do